Good morning, you guys. Long time no see. I feel like I haven't pulled out the camera in a few days. We've been busy, but it's just been like, not stuff to necessarily like vlog about. I don't know, it's been busy, but like things that we've already, that I've already vlogged about, I guess. Like this week we went to the zoo. I already did a vlog about that. Um, I've been busy with some work stuff and um, we celebrated my sister's birthday yesterday, hung out at my mom's house, I vlogged that. So I don't want my vlogs to be redundant, so I haven't been really pulling out the camera. I don't honestly know why I'm pulling out the camera today because like today, this whole weekend is nothing, like we have no plans. Anthony is actually gone, he is in Hocking Hills at a bachelor party for the whole weekend. And I want to say this is the first time Anthony has not like been away from me like overnight since we moved into this house. I feel like that's wrong, but I don't know. I, I honestly can't remember the last time that Anthony like spent the night away from me, which is like so awesome because when he was at his old job, he was gone every weekend, but ever since he moved to his new job, like he's never had to be away from me and we just take vacations together and stuff. So I don't know. It's just felt really weird not having him here, but he's away doing that, having fun, I'm sure. And I'm just stuck with the kids all weekend, which kind of stinks. And it also kind of stinks because we don't have any plans. So we're just kind of like existing i don't know right now the boys are outside they're eating flavor ice there they are their new obsession is flavor ice my parents had it at their house and then the boys got a taste of it and they're hooked so i had to get my own flavor ice and of course they're divas and they need to hold it with a paper towel because it gets too cold i remember as a kid i just had to suffer through it but I give them paper towels so their hands don't get too cold, but I always make them go eat it outside because they don't eat it, it gets sticky everywhere, and I just don't need that. Hi. So yeah, they love flavor ice. Funny enough, Grayson has had flavor ice in the past and he has hated it every time. And just this year, he's started to like it. Porter has always liked flavor ice, although Porter likes anything. Grayson really only likes milk and water. He doesn't really like lemonade or apple juice or anything like that. He's kind of finicky. Porter will drink almost anything. So that's what they're doing. Avery's down for her nap, nap number one. Update on the bottle. She's doing awesome. She doesn't even fight me anymore on it. She takes it like a champ. Multiple people feed her. She doesn't mind it. We still um, are only using these Ola, Ola baby bottles, and she drinks great from it. The problem I'm having now with her on the bottle is I cannot keep up with her eating. And you guys, I don't know what happened when I was breastfeeding her exclusively because she wouldn't take the bottle. I was collecting a bag of extra breast milk that I was able to like catch in my haka a day. And now that I've switched her over to bottle only to get ready for us to leave her for this cruise, I am having to dip into my reserves and I go through about a bottle of saved breast, or um, I go through a bag of saved breast milk a day. I don't understand why it's changed so drastically. I don't know if it's because when I was breastfeeding her, like I wasn't feeding her a ton and she was just eating a lot more often, which I do think is true. She was eating a lot more and I think with breastfeeding, like it just takes a lot more effort to get the milk out. And so I think she was getting tired a lot more easier and it's a lot easier to get breast milk out of the bottle. And so she's like, oh, this is easy. I'm just gonna take a bunch. So it's great. I'm glad she's eating a ton and she's probably going to get so chunky because she's been so petite. And I wonder if this is part of why she's been so petite is because she hasn't been eat like able to eat that much. So I think she's going to get really chunky, but it just stresses me out a little bit because I had such a good stash going and now it's getting completely wiped out. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I can't complain. She's eating the bottle and now I know she's getting plenty for like to fill her up. It just stinks that I just, it's like this with all my kids. I'm just not able to keep up. I'm just not an oversupplier. I wish I was. I wish I was able to breastfeed and keep up, but 
I don't know. She's been off the boob for a week now. A week today, she's been off the boob. And I'm going to try and breastfeed her again when we come back from this cruise. I don't want to do it right now because I don't want to confuse her again and then have her reject the bottle again. And then we go through that whole fight. But I don't know if she'll take the boob again after she's had the bottle for so long and it's been so easy. So that'll be interesting to see. If she never goes back to the boob, that's okay. That's why there's bottles. And with all of my, with both my boys, I had to eventually get formula and that's okay. I'm fine with that. It's just the cost is not, not the best when you can get it for free from your boobs, but that is best. So anyway, I don't know why I just went off on that tangent, but. She's doing good with the bottle. She's napping. She's doing great. She's actually starting to roll from her back to her side, which is kind of crazy and scary because you know, once they start rolling from back to belly, then you can't swaddle them anymore. You can swaddle their midsection, but you can't swaddle their arms down. And Avery loves being swaddled. She does not sleep well when she's not swaddled. So I'm a little nervous about how that's gonna go. Usually I try to transition my kids easily and I will swaddle with one arm out for a while and then do both arms out and that usually helps. But yeah, it's, um, it's gonna be interesting. And I don't know if I need to do that before we go on the cruise or if I can make it last till after the cruise, I'm not sure. But anyway, we don't have much going on. Like I said, I'm just trying to like hold the fort down. We've been so busy the past couple days, I haven't been able to like do stuff around the house. So I'm sure you can hear in the background, I'm doing laundry. I had to fold laundry because I did the kids laundry the other day. Now I'm doing Anthony and I's laundry, um, taking out some trash, just trying to like keep up with the house a little bit in between the boys wanting me to get them flavor ice and watch their marble run and go out play with them. So trying to like do both. My parents might be coming over today to give the boys a haircut they desperately need it and we want to do it before the cruise happens and i don't know if you've been here for a while you know my dad gives um, my boys their haircuts it's free it's fast they love it they don't fight him so it's easy and we don't have to go anywhere he just comes to the house so i think they're gonna come do that today but i haven't heard from them yet so we will see and then yeah anthony's gone all day today he'll be back like midday tomorrow so I just have to survive until then. So not sure what else we're gonna do. Just playing outside. It's actually cooled down a bit, which has been nice. Just trying to get ready. We leave for to get ready to go on this cruise a week from today. We leave a week from today. We fly to Texas. Then we stay in the night in Texas. And then the next day we get on the cruise ship and we're on a cruise ship for a week. So uh, this week will be preparing for the cruise we gotta pack and get last minute stuff i just ordered sun hats for the boys they have like baseball hats but my mom said to get sun hats to, to protect like their ears and the back of their necks and stuff because it's gonna be very sunny so i got those those are gonna come tomorrow i think and then just getting like snacks for the plane and sunglasses different stuff like that i need to get anthony new sunglasses because he cannot keep track of them for the life of him. I have been working on preschool forms for Porter. They're all in here. I have to turn those in. I'm gonna do that on Monday to get him ready for preschool. I had to fill out a ton of forms about him and who can pick him up from school and what's his personality like and um like do you agree to the handbook and i have to submit like his uh health form i had to have like his doctor fill out his health form saying like yes he can attend preschool and and all like his shot record and i feel like he's a dog his shot record his vaccines and all that so i have that all ready to go i'm gonna turn that in i also need to call and make a wild check appointment for him for september because he's gonna turn three in september so i need that and I also need to schedule the dentist for him because I usually start my kids around three for dentists. So lots coming up for Mr. Porter. Grayson had his kindergarten registration the other day. I don't know if I talked to you about that. I don't think I did. I'll take a picture here of him in front of his school. They do kindergarten screening at Grayson's kindergarten. They basically just get the kids in and they just do different activities and games and also do a vision and a screen and a hearing screening just to kind of see where the kids are at academically, just to see like tailor make their um, curriculum 
to best fit the kids needs and so Grayson went and they took all the kids and the parents just like sat there for 45 minutes so it was really boring for me Grayson said he had fun they read the kids Pete the cat because I think they were trying to see like what colors the kids knew which I would hope all these kids know their colors by kindergarten I mean Grayson knew those Porter knows his colors and he's two I don't know um, and then they had them read like sentences. Grayson said they had two word, three word, four word, up to five word sentences, which Gray read that, <laughs> of course. And then they did a uh, vision screening where they like covered one eye. Can you read the numbers or the pictures? And then they did the hearing where like, if you hear a beep, raise your hand. So all that good stuff he did well, I think. They said, when they brought him back, they said, he loved telling them everything that he knew, which sounds very much like Grayson. So we did that earlier this week. So glad that that is over and we were able to do that and it wasn't during our cruise because all the different elementaries have them all at all different times throughout the summer. And I know some schools are doing their screening like while we're gone on the cruise. So I'm glad we were able to go and get that done. It wasn't mandatory, but if we were available, we were supposed to bring him and we were available. So that was good. We got that done. And then he, I think his next thing is meet the teacher. We did get school supplies. I made that um, video. So that's all good to go. And then, yeah, we'll meet his teacher in like next month in August. And then he's got less than a month to go for school because today is July 22nd. And Grayson's first day of school is like August 17th. So less than a month of summer left. Although for Porter, it's still over a month of summer left because he doesn't start until September 5th because it's preschool. I gotta go help the kids because Grace Porter is struggling, but I will pick up the camera here and there throughout the weekend, I guess. I don't know. We just don't have much to going on. All right, so update. I got out the bouncy house. The kids have been really into this lately. Oh gosh, here comes Grayson going to tell on Porter. The boys have really been liking the bouncy house lately more than in the past. And so I got that up and they've been bouncing. It's a really good way to get out their energy. After I got out the bouncy house, <laughs> Grayson is like, punish Porter. Ugh, he's such a tattletale right now, which is like so me, but oh, he's driving me crazy. Anyway, after I got out of the bouncy house, I noticed that some of these trees that we have, oh, sorry, some of these trees we have in our backyard are just getting like really low. And I think of Anthony when he's mowing and they're probably like whacking him in the face. So you can see it, I need to put them, I got a little bag, it's to the side here. But I trimmed some of the trees. I trimmed the pine trees because I've never done those before. I've done these ones like a couple weeks ago and then it's like they grew again. So I need to pick all those branches up and put them in the bag. But look at me, like I'm being so productive. So the boys are playing outside. Avery is still napping, but she should be waking up like any minute because she's been sleeping for a while. And then I am making mac and cheese for lunch for the boys. And we're almost to nap time. I've almost made it. So then I'll have some quiet time. Unless Avery's up, then I'll be a little busy. But Avery's only been having like one hour awake window. So it's actually really nice. She just sleeps most of the day still which I don't appreciate that enough when I have it because then they get older and then they're like Grayson who doesn't nap at all and I am dreading the day for when Porter doesn't take a nap anymore because like with Gray doing nap time like I just have him do like apps on my iPad but I don't have two iPads so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do when Porter is not taking naps. I'm just gonna cry because I'm gonna have to actually like entertain them during nap time. Say hi, Avery. Say hi. Say hello. Hey guys, it is the next morning. I guess I'll just make this into a two day vlog because I really didn't vlog anything after like yesterday morning. It kind of turned into a whirlwind. Anthony texted me and turns out they had to leave their cabin early because they had no running water at their cabin. Like, isn't that kind of crazy? They had no water and they were boys. So they were just like peeing in the woods. But the problem was like, if somebody had to go number two or if anybody wanted to shower, like they wouldn't be able to. So they actually ended up leaving, coming back home, got a full refund, which I mean, they should. And then they ended up just like continuing the party at someone's house. So Anthony came home for a little bit, which was nice because I could talk to him. And then he went and was gone the rest of the day like we had planned originally. So it didn't like 
interrupt anything my parents did come over but i was gonna like record a little bit of it and then i didn't because avery was fussy and anthony was home so i wanted to talk to him for the little bit i saw him mm -hmm. but the boys do have haircuts i'll show you porter did you get a haircut yes do you love it yes grayson show me your haircut Oh, so handsome. So now they are looking all good. We wanted to get that done before the cruise. They were getting shaggy and um, now they look great. And now Anthony is the last one that needs a haircut. He needs to go sometime this week because his hair is getting long. So he just goes to great clips. Usually there's one like five minutes down the road. So he will go do that sometime this week. I don't need a haircut. <laughs> but I am going to go get my nails and toes done sometime this week. My sisters and I are planning that today. But yeah, so it was kind of a whirlwind, and then Anthony didn't end up coming home until like 2 a.m. last night, and so I didn't get much sleep, and he's still sleeping. I think he's feeling it a little bit. They were drinking a lot. So he's recovering. I'm trying to keep the kids quiet so he can sleep. So that's why we're here in the basement. Grayson is working on building the Encanto Lego house. There's all the Legos. There's a lot of them. A lot of them. It takes a hard build. Yeah. Also, I want you guys to weigh in. Is this girly enough or is this too boyish for Avery? This is a hand-me-down from Porter. Um, he was never able to wear it because it's like a six-month outfit and it was like freezing cold when he was six months. So I put it on Avery, but I don't know if it's neutral-ish enough that she could wear or if it just makes her look like a boy. But I'm having problems with Avery's outfits because all of the six-month clothes that my mom and I got her are or like three to six and six-month clothes. All of those are like fall clothes. They're all like long sleeves and pants. This week it's going to get up to like 95. So I have like three dresses and then this like boyish neutral-ish outfit and that's kind of it so yeah I'm kind of in trouble I'm just gonna try to like stretch the three month onesies as long as I can thankfully she is more petite so I think I can make it stretch but yeah it's gonna be a lot of the same outfits over and over again but that's okay I don't really want to like buy more outfits because she's just gonna wear it for like two months and then grow out of it so no real plans today I'm hoping we could go on a walk and go to the park this afternoon today's like supposed to be low 80s like 81 82 and then after today it's just gonna get ridiculously hot and we're not gonna want to like go out on too long of walk. So I'm really hoping we'll be able to do that this afternoon. It kind of depends on how Anthony's feeling. So we will see. Look at this little girl. She is trying to roll. Show him your trick. Show him how you roll to your side. Go ahead. Are you camera shy? Show him how you roll. Oh, nice, Avery. Yeah, she rolls to the side, and then she gets stuck on her side. She has not completed the roll yet, but she's very close. And she does it all the time now when I put her down. And this is her favorite toy. This is like this lion. It's got little dangly stuff, and she loves it. And both the boys love this lion, too. I think because it makes so many noises. She loves it. What do you think? Ah. We're just doing quiet time. Grayson's on the iPad. He was doing Legos. He's taking a break. Avery's playing with her toy. Anthony and Porter are taking naps upstairs. I wish I could take a nap. I'm not really a nap person, but I think I got like max five hours of sleep last night. I was so tired. I still need to get gas in my car too, but I have to take care of the kids, especially with Avery not napping right now. Her naps are still like all over the place. Sometimes she's napping during nap time and sometimes she's up during nap time. Like yesterday, she napped the whole nap time, but today she's awake during nap time so it's all different she's not on a schedule yet so we're just hanging out and then i think we might walk 
and take the kids to a park. Anthony and I found a new like kind of hidden park in our neighborhood. <laughs> I can't believe we found another one. I swear there's so many parks in this neighborhood we live in. So we might take the kids there if it all works out. And then I think I'll make a dinner tonight because I have pork chops in the fridge that I need to make. Mm. And then that's kind of going to be our day. So I might vlog a little bit if we go to this park. I'm hoping it works out. But I'm not sure because Avery's going to go down for a nap. And then Porter's going to wake up from a nap. And then we have to wait for Avery. And kind of hard when kids are on differing nap schedules. So we'll see. So I'm about to put Avery to bed tonight. And something is different. We're not swaddling her arms anymore. But tonight, Avery rolled from her back to her belly. The past couple days, she's been rolling to her side, if you, as you guys have seen. And then today, she made the connection and rolled from her back to her belly. So sadly, we are not able to swaddle her arms anymore. Which is always sad. Because it means she's getting bigger and she loves being swaddled. All my kids have loved being swaddled. And now we gotta take you out of the swaddle. Now we gotta take you out. So, we, so from now on, I'll just swaddle her midsection. That seems to still help them. And then eventually I just graduate them to a sleep sack. But for the first little while, we'll just keep her in this. Yeah, you like to roll. Are you gonna be a belly sleeper like your brothers? Mm. Well, I think that's going to be about it for today's vlog, or I guess the past two days vlog. Um, we didn't end up going on a walk because we got all ready to go, walked out the front door, and it was pouring rain. So we weren't able to go. We turned right back around and watched a movie instead. And a huge thunderstorm came through. It was actually really good. We didn't get caught in that. So we just kind of took it easy. I made dinner. The boys played in the basement for a little bit. I've been folding laundry, moving clothes over, things like that. And uh, yeah, so that was the end of our day. And now tomorrow is Monday. So it starts the week of getting ready for the cruise. A week from today, we get on the cruise ship. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. I'm not sure when I'll vlog again. Maybe when we're packing and getting ready for this trip. I'll vlog a little bit so stay tuned for my cruise ship vlogs because I've never done it before and we've got some really exciting exc excursions coming up we stop in three different ports Honduras um, and then two Mexico ports Costa Maya and Cosmo so stay tuned because those vlogs are gonna be so cool and so fun but anyway that's all and I will see you guys next time bye see bye Avery Say bye bye. Bye bye, I'm gonna go in the night. Yeah, you're such a sweetie pie. My new nickname for her is Pie because I call her Sweetie Pie, but I like just saying Pie instead. Are you my little pie? Yeah. Say bye bye.